Hello everyone, this is Callie Teagarden. Happy Wednesday. I hope you are having a great week. I hope you had a fantastic Father's Day this past weekend. I am here tonight with Brenda Flannery, and I'm so excited for you guys to meet her. She actually created a card that was in our card catalog for Father's Day. I know we're going to get into that. But for those of you that don't know Brenda, she lives in British Columbia, Canada. So one of my Canadian friends. Um, you've been a healthcare worker for the past 25 years and you spent nine years as a pharmacy tech. You're a mom of two beautiful daughters. I love that that was part of your bio. And uh, two grandchildren, correct? Correct. Do they each have one or? Nope, just the one daughter has them and one is uh, 12 years old now and one's going to be turning 15. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're like, how, how did that happen, right? <laughs> exactly, right? You've been married to Rob for 14 years, and he is a mortgage broker. Um, yes. And to round out your family, you also have two dogs and a cat. I do. <laughs> um, you were introduced to network marketing back in the mid-1990s and loved it when you first was introduced to it. And then you were also introduced to send out cards in 2016 as you were networking for another business. Um, when you saw send out cards and how it worked, you realized it was something you could use for that business, which is very similar to my story of looking for a way to send birthday thank you and holiday cards. You also saw how your husband could use it in his mortgage business. Um, and you fell in love with it so much that you decided to start building the business. You're an avid card sender and team builder, and you're a manager with send out cards. And I'm so excited you are going to be here, or you are here here. You're going to be here. You are here. Oh my gosh. It's one of those days. Um, and I'm also excited. We're going to talk tonight about encouraging others. I know you are a huge encourager of others, especially I saw you on our kindness series that um, the Send Out Cards Corporate did and uh, what you've been doing and the drawing drawings, I can't say that word, that you have created and all the things that you've done. So I would love tonight to start this a little bit differently and ask you, in your opinion, why is it so important to or encourage other people, especially now with all that is happening in our world? Especially now, Kelly, I think, I think the world does, as, as the card says, the world does need more love. Uh, with everything that's going on in the world, it just, it blows my mind how we have lost the um, touch of being human. We are all human. We are all a creation of God. We're all the same people in our hearts. And so for me, it's important to encourage people just by being kind to them. Just like pay it forward, right? In a Timmy's line, pay the next order behind you if you can. If you're um, saying that would be Starbucks for you Americans, <laughs> right? <laughs> Absolutely. Right? Like, what? What is Timmy's? <laughs> you're right. Sorry, I'm Canadian. <laughs> um, also, like, if you're seeing somebody come out of a grocery line who's got like 10 bags of groceries, there's nothing wrong with just going, hey, let me give you a hand. Let me load your car. Let me do this. Right. And that's what I love to do. And it's just, in, I think it's in my DNA. My mom was a great, great lover of people. And as you know, my mom just passed away. So I, I was raised like that. I was raised to pull out a chair for somebody or stand up and give the chair to somebody of my elder. So encouraging people to, to just get back to the basics. Get back to the basics of being nice. Right. Have you seen, it, it is about getting back to the basics, as being in the healthcare pro professional, right? Have you seen the difference, even with patients, the ones that are encouraged through the process and have people reaching out in kindness and loving on them versus ones that maybe aren't so fortunate? Um, yes, we've had uh, many of people send cards into the facility to our patients, you know, because they're not able to have that um, contact because they're encouraging families to stay away 
and just, you know, let them contain the facility so that no other um, infections or anything COVID ends up in the facility. So what we've seen is a lot of people have been just sending cards to these nursing facilities and saying, hey, hello, how are you? Our residents don't know who these people are, but the smiles on their faces, you know, they just light up knowing somebody out there somewhere is thinking about them. And it does, it just warms the heart. When you yeah. get to see that, it's just like, oh my God. I think that's so important, right? You don't have to know someone to reach out in kindness to them. I remember you and I both, our moms have passed away and uh, we were talking in the pre-show about what we've been through. And after my um, dad died, we I don't know if you know this, but we went um, that Christmas was the first Christmas without our dad, you know, rough on my mom. We actually, my mom and I went to the local Walmart. She got a list of all the people at the local local nursing home who didn't have family or didn't have visitors, got a list of what they wanted. We went in and purchased everything, wrapped it up, and then took it to them on Christmas Day. It was my mom, myself, my sister, and my brother-in-law. And just to see the happiness, right? We didn't know them. I've never seen the people again, but I can tell you, I can still feel the joy and happiness that they felt and how they didn't want us to leave the room because we all um, crave kindness and generosity. And just so you know, most, and everybody knows, most uh, healthcare facilities uh, around Christmas do have a list that you can um, jump on and give presents and that to people who don't have families and that. So most facilities have that in place. So you just need to get a hold of the administration of the facility and send some kindness. Yeah, and it's, it's an interesting thing because when we give to give, right, truly give in kindness, we feel it as much as the other person feels it. There's something unique and special about doing something for someone else that, um, that really touches your heart as much as it does theirs. I know I, I've actually been off with a shoulder injury for the last... Um, for the last year and still I'm sending cards and brownies to all my co-workers saying I miss you guys and I sent them the remember the card for the toilet paper yeah so I, I sent them all that card with a little poem and a, a brain teaser inside and I got so many responses like oh my god I needed that today I had such a terrible day at work your card came in the mail and it just brightened my day thank you so much so, oh, right. You know. It's all about, um, and it's also, it's an interesting because some of us who are great givers and encouragers sometimes struggle in receiving back. And, you know, I've learned in my life that I need to be open to receiving as well to allow other people to give kindness. Like it is, it is something important that to be able to give, but also to receive. So here's a little story, Kelly. Um, my parents live in Southern Ontario and it's an hour drive from the airport to, to my parents' place. And I had sent a card and brownie to the taxi service that picks me up at 4 a.m. to bring me to the airport. I sent her a card and brownies. Now I needed to be picked up at the airport and brought to my parents. And she goes, oh, we don't do that. We just drive them to the airport. And I says, oh, that's a shame. I said, oh, okay, well, and she goes, wait a minute. Are you the lady who sent us the card and brownies? I said, yep, yeah, that'd be me. And I called her by name and she goes, oh, we'll take you. <laughs> we got your back. And it was like, oh, thank you. So I sent him another card and brownie. Right, because when you treat other people with kindness, with appreciation, with respect, yeah. They treat you the same way. And it's interesting because I think we get so busy in our lives. Um, last week I was out trying golf clubs and I was hitting different ones. And, you know, at the end I was talking to the gentleman because I got to figure out, but I just started asking him about his life and it completely changed the entire conversation right because now you know i wasn't hitting and before it was like crazy but i literally he's 
in the mil or former military. His wife was as well. He told me about how they met. People want to be able to talk about themselves and their lives. And part of kindness is just asking people about them and being interested and paying attention. And I think when we do that, we naturally encourage people. It's just a natural process. As you said earlier, we're all human. Absolutely. We all need our, our DNA. We all need love. We all need respect. And we all hunger that. And we, you know, that's part of who we are as a human. So I just love being able to do that. And of course, you know, that we're able to do that with our system. So... Yeah, and so I love your uh, display in the background, but one of the things you have is a big card over there that we all need love, and that was, yeah, one of your cards that you designed that went in. So can you tell everyone a little bit about that? Because I love it. Sure. Um, I had start, It actually started out with one of my, my just, um, customers. Her daughter does drawings, and uh, so I said, oh, send me her drawings, and I'll send it to her in a card right? And surprise her. So she actually got her drawings in a card. So then I thought, wow, that's smart. I said, I am going to Google adult coloring because we do adult coloring in our uh, facility in our lunch break just to de-stress. And, and, and we just sit there and color and talk amongst each other about our day. So I thought, oh, I'm going to send adult coloring in my cards um, just to help people de-stress and maybe help them go through, you know, go through some things in that right so then I thought wait a minute I can draw <laughs> <laughs> right I've been drawing all my life why not just draw my own um, creation so I did I created a, uh, a drawing I scanned it and I put it in a card for for uh, the founder of the company his wife I sent them a card um, explaining why I absolutely love send out card and what it means to me and how they've touched my life and how this company has touched my life and I, at the bottom I said PS um, have fun coloring Jody right and they just loved it and they um, just incorporated it into our system which was like mind-blowing for me but I loved it. <laughs> right. And and it's so cool that that card is in there. They also brought in the um, pencils, the colored pencils, because we didn't have those originally. But what's also really cool about that story is that was a very encouraging card for her as well, just by you saying how much this company means to you. And I think that's an important piece of encouraging others, right? If someone did something for you or means something to you, or, you know, I sent one out last week to a friend of my sister's from high school and just said, you know, I always loved when you came to our house because you always made me feel special, right? That's a form of encouragement because so many times we're in our heads wondering if we're enough or if we're doing things right and getting a piece that says, you know what, you made me feel important or made me feel special is a source of encouragement for so many people. And just, and just having that card in our system, it actually encouraged me to create more art for the company and hence the Father's Day card. <laughs> right, which is awesome. And I love that uh, those are, uh, some could still be landing, but we're landing over the weekend and uh, encouraging dads to de-stress as well. And it's not specifically just like inside the card, you'll have buddy, you'll have stepdad. I put all sorts of words that actually uh, define what a dad is so it doesn't you know it even if he's not your biological father you can send the card out and they will it, it will be well received right so one of the questions i'm going to show the system in a second but you've also been using this from like a business aspect in your husband's business so how do you use it and are those cards encouraging are they just reaching out how are you using this in the mortgage business 
and my husband mortgage business we're using it birthday cards holiday cards we cr i created a campaign for him for a mortgage renewal um <laughs> because you know everybody's mortgage has to come up in five years so i um created a time for your renewal cards and it's just reaching out and stay in top of mind with his clientele so he is actually using it as his crms he has paid thousands and thousands of dollars with other crms that never worked out and this one he he's getting feedback he's like, hey i got your card today i am yeah i totally need a mortgage i'm thinking of buying a new house and it actually um he's gotten like three or four where it's landed him like a million dollar mortgage wow so, yeah, he was like, oh, keep sending those cards, honey, keep sending those. <laughs> so he's a fan too. He's definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we, you know, he, he thanks his realtors that refer him business. So there's all sorts of different ways we're using it with his mortgage business as right. well. And I think it's so important to bring that up because send out cards is both a great tool in our personal lives but also in our business lives as a way to reach out in kindness and appreciation to our clients and our connections. Mm -hmm. And being a network marketer, like I'm, I, I'm with other companies too. It's a great way to um, thank your hostesses, encourage your team, um, just, you know, thank your clients. It's a great way to put a 10% discount in the car. I could tell you millions and millions of ways to use send out cards. Right. Which is awesome. Well, I'm going to come back and I'm going to have you share a couple ideas, but in the meantime, I'm going to go show everyone how simple the system is by uh, sending a card. So I'm going to pull up my, um, app so everyone can see it. And it should be right here. And what I loved about this system when I found it almost 10 years ago, it'll be July 1st, 10 years um, that I joined Send Out Cards. So I was looking for a simple way to do birthday thank you and holiday cards out to my clients. My mom raised us as card senders. It was really time consuming to write out all the all the notes, all the thank you notes. And when I found this system, it was like, okay, this just made my life easier. I don't have to have stamps. I don't have to have stationery. It's all done right here. And you can do it from a website or from your smartphone. And you can come in and literally birthday, thank you, holiday, just because all kinds of different cards. But I'm gonna come into well wishes here. And I'm gonna scroll down and I am gonna pick this uh, brighter days are ahead head card. Um, this is what we call a photo drop. So I can drop my own photo in this card. We also have a build your own where you can literally put your photo completely on the front of the card. And I just hit create. And then I'm just going to tap where that picture is. I'm going to go into my photos. And uh, I pulled this one off your Facebook earlier. And I know these women as well. I love all of you uh, Canadian women up there in BC. And so I just thought it would be fun. I know you've been going through a lot um, with your mom's passing and just coming back from visiting your dad. And so I thought Brighter Days Are Ahead is a great card for you. So this is the front of the card. I can swipe to the inside left now by swiping to the left. And here I can add more photos. I can add text or I can leave it blank. If I swipe again, it brings me to the inside right. This is where I personally like to add my message. So I can type it in or I can voice text it in by hitting that little microphone. It was really great connecting with you and learning more about your story, period. Keep being you and making a difference in the world, exclamation point. I know your mama must be so proud of you, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. New line, new line, all the best, comma. And so there's the message. And now I can come up here and uh, I can select it and I can come in and pick the font. Um, and you can choose all kinds of different fonts. You guys aren't seeing that. I'm seeing it on my phone. I don't know why, but uh, I can also come in. There you guys go. And I can return and I can come in here and add my signature. Um, it's a little large, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. 
and then I can hit save and there's the inside of the card um, with my handwriting and signature just to make the card a little more personal. I swipe to the back. I can have my own branding on the back of the card for myself and or my business. And now I hit the little paper airplane and I'm ready to send this card. With send out cards, you can also add gifts. So we have all kinds of gifts, including our famous brownies, um, cookies, things for men, things for women, uh, the, uh, the pencils right there, like in that kid's birthday bundle. Or you can send a card only, and that's what we're gonna do in this case. So I can go into my contacts and I can go in and add Brenda. I can select her or import her. So I'm gonna go and select, as I put you in here, there you are. I hit done and I hit done again, and I am done. I hit continue, and you guys will see my card is free, including the stamp, even though it's still free, even though uh, Brenda lives in Canada and I live in the US. I hit submit, and I am done. Send out cards will now print stuff, stamp, and mail this card for me. And mine is free because of the monthly subscription I'm on. I'm on our unlimited option. Um, I love it, Brenda. I can come in here and send multiple cards a day. I know that's the one you're on as well and for those of you who are watching if you may not want to have the unlimited but you want to send a couple cards a month right we have all kinds of different options so get back with the person who invited you onto this webinar or share this Facebook live they can help you determine what's best for your needs so card ideas I know you've got lots of them you want to share some after since I just showed everyone how to send a card so um this was one of the cards that my dad, uh, he does, he's, techni he's techie, but not that techie. So he asked me, he goes, can you create one of those big cards for your mom for Mother's Day for me? I said, sure, absolutely, dad. So this is the card that I had created for my parent, for my mom for Mother's Day. That's their wedding day. And inside the card, I put all of us monkeys and my mom, and I wrote a poem of how of an amazing mother she was and how grateful my father was that she actually took great care of us and everything. And then I put the picture of them on the back of the card. Now, unfortunately, my mom passed away before she received the card, but my dad loved this picture so much that he actually framed it and put it beside her urn. It's so, uh, I mean, how how special right right so, and here's another one this is for uh the mary Kay people in our organization so this is a great way where you can use a three panel card and just write down ways that you can use send out cards um with with another networking business another mlm this is or direct sale this is a great way so we have Close connections, thanking the hostess, keeping in touch, building a relationship, and, and that. And it's just telling people how to use send out cards. Say, how do you send out cards with your Mary Kay business? I have another card here as well where I put brain teasers within the card so that people can actually think about, hmm, you know, using the emojis that cre created. Um, a movie emoji to where you got to figure out what the movie is just by all the emojis. I saw that one. I flunked. Absolutely flunked that. I couldn't get any of them. You know what? Somebody asked me, she, what's the answers? I goes, I don't know. Figure them out. <laughs> I didn't actually have the answers. So we actually sat down and I think I had five left to figure out. So, you know, you can put crosswords. If you own a business, a conventional business, you can put your sale items in it. You know, you could put uh, for realtors, you can put um, what houses are up. Like the flat panel cards are great for that. Flat panel cards are great for invitations, you know, and oh, I could go on and on, Kelly. Right, there's so we many. Only got 35, we only got 30 minutes. Right, there's so many different uses and there's uses, you know, again, both on the personal use side, on the business use side. You had mentioned the campaign. We have what we call system sends where you can create a card once and send it out 
to multiple people. Love that. That was what big for me. We also have the heartfelt card, which took me a little longer to um, realize how important those cards are. And that's the card that goes out to a single person with a unique message. And uh, I know that especially those heartfelt cards have truly made a difference in your life. And we're about to close and um, want to see if there's any last stories that you'd like to share where send out cards has truly made a difference in your life. Sure. Um, there was a, a long period of time where my brothers and I, we, we got in a spat somewhere in life and, um, and we hadn't talked for many, many years. And I just kept loving on them with cards. You know, uh, my brother, one of my brothers is in the service. So I made sure he always got a Remembrance Day card and a thank you for your service, birthday cards, Christmas cards. And um, a few years ago, he contacted me and he said, I think we need to talk. So we reconnected a couple of years ago and have been talking since. So I'm so blessed to have him back in my life. And then I kept loving on my older brother as well. And he um, just recently, we started connecting and we started talking again as well. And I swear it's because of send out cards. Yeah. I really do. And your mama would be so happy. My mom would be so proud of all of us that we're, we're all back together talking and um, reconnecting so yeah building those relationships right so it, it's an amazing tool for so many different things and I know it's made a huge impact on your life your family's life and uh, you're out there encouraging others and teaching those people to encourage others and spreading love and kindness to the world so I want to thank you so much for being on here Brenda tonight and showing your story and I want to thank everyone that's taking a look and being here with us. Thank you for joining us. If you've got questions about send out cards, please get back with the person who invited you onto this webinar or shared this Facebook live with you. They can answer all your questions and come join us. We would love for you to send out kindness, encourage others, and just make this world a better place. So thank you everyone. Good night. Bye now.